Excellence of Roger Huffman, the subject is Landstorm and Vince Russo. Good evening, K-Dog and the Superior One. I was wondering why Landstorm was even on the latest Dark Side of the Ring Bash of the Beach episode. He had nothing to do with what went down. Why does Lance have so much venom towards Vince Russo? No one booked Lance stronger than Russo. Thanks, guys. That's Roger from Monroe, Georgia. Um, Lance is... Continue, Disco. Uh, anybody that refers to you, and I can see emails coming forth, you will get the following. Uh, he refers to Disco as a superior one. Right. Uh, All right. Why, what's wrong? why is it wrong? I am superior. You're not the superior one. You're the inferior one. But anyways, continue. Uh, yeah, Lance is... Bro, Lance... Lance Lance's criticism of Vince is like, you know, he, 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 this is the funniest thing. Okay. Lance Storm one time had his blog and he's always been an anti Russo guy, even though Vince, he's never been booked stronger than when we were booking with, with Vince, me, him, and Ed. We, we gave him all three, we gave him three belts, right? Yeah. He's literally never been booked book stronger than that. That's his, no. so his high, his, his best booking occurred under Vince Russo, but he's, he does have his venom towards Vince, right? But the funny thing was, when we did that thing in TNA, and in, and uh, when Shark Boy was turning into Stone Cold Shark Boy, right? We had these vignettes, and and they, they were they were corny, but they were funny, right? Lance said that he was never going to watch that show again, like on his blog, that that was the worst thing he'd ever seen. Uh, you know, why would they do that? It was hard or something. But the funny thing about it was. Is in that three minutes of TV time that they put towards those vignettes where we turn him into Stone Cold Shark Boy. Shark Boy started getting literally the, the loudest pops at the house shows, and he was became the number one merch seller. Hmm. All right. And Lance Storm buried that. And like so this was hard. And, and he literally buried a spot that they did the, for the, in three minutes. They turned the guy one of the most over guys in the company. So that just shows you that Lance, Lance Storm has never really had any clue. Like how to write, like like what goes into writing a wrestling show when you're trying to get numbers, and like everything he's ever said, it, it's kind of like you you can get that out of him because he just, you know, he, he's very bland. Um, you know, he's I, I don't know, he's just it's, it's, he's got a weird flex on on this business, and he's always been a d- dirt. He's he's been a Dave Meltzer guy for years. Like he was one of those guys that was like doing you know, like he's on their pet, like he does shows with them. Like right. he was doing shows with with Dave for years, so he's always been like kind of like the the anti Vince click. So yeah, whatever. But I mean, and remember, Di, that after he went went to WWE, you know, at first they used him all right. He was the serious Canadian, but after that, they his gimmick was that he was boring. That was his gimmick. Right. Austin made Austin made fun of him and fell asleep during his match, and then they had him come out and do the Cabbage Patch and dance. How is that not worse than WCW? You know, why would you be so mad at WCW where you were pushed? I agree. Right. I think maybe, and I've never talked to him about this, is that at that time, and you're right, he was probably never booked stronger than when Vince booked him. He was getting over, bro. Mm-hmm. Right. And Nash took that away in one night. And I always thought, whoever, whose idea was that? Yours or Russo's or Eric's? I don't, or I don't, I don't even or, remember. I don't even remember. Bro, you were on the booking committee. How could you not remember something that big? Storm went on. Uh, what, what was so big? Because like, the guy that you guys were pushing, who was getting over, got beat by Nash for no reason. I don't think he got just beat. Nash laid him out. Nash laid him out with yeah. a powerbomb. Right, right, right. Nash laid him out with a powerbomb. Yeah, yeah. But but didn't do, you know, right. so that, at that point, he was the undefeated belt champion. Okay, wait, yeah. How did that help him? Well, it didn't help him, but it helped Nash. Nash was doing that to everybody. Yeah, but Nash didn't and need like, to do that to him. He could have Nash, done it to a million other doing, guys. It, it was one show. He did to everybody's one spot. He did it. Didn't to a guy that's a career or something over, like that. Oh, yeah. get no, did because from there he was not booked the same. Yeah. He wasn't uh, over uh, like he oh, was. Okay, well, what do you want to say? The guy's a mid card guy. So well, I just career. said. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Then what I mean, were you pushing? Why did you put three belts on him if he's a mid card guy that sucks? Because he was getting over. And then he reached a point. Like, I don't, exactly. you know. Uh, so I you mean, just stopped you... power bombing him just to keep getting Nash over? I don't, I don't, I, I don't remember this, Conan. Five okay. other guys in a row 
Okay, but okay, whatever. whatever. We'll disagree. That's to, a, yeah, we'll I disagree. Don't, no, I don't, I'm not disagreeing. Right. I just don't. I don't remember this as such a big, significant thing like other people do. I just, I just don't remember the no. spot. It was oh, one so I'm spot. Not the first person that's told you this. No, I was in that company Obviously. for seven years. You asked me for right. one spot on one mm -hmm. show and asked me to strap. I don't remember it. Okay, <laughs> it's like you know, I don't remember right. everything that happened. Like you know, that's 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 all I'm saying. Right? Neither do I, but I would think you would remember that. But anyway, I, because I do the guy remember was getting a spot over. Where, where I, Nash, you guys pushed. Where Nash was yeah. coming out. And he was like power bot, like he was, was like the nine, not not nine one one, but similar. Like he was was coming down the right. ring. You know, I know exactly like, what he was yeah. doing. Right. Now, all I'm saying is, if I'm pushing somebody, I'm riding for him, and I'm giving him three belts, and he and he's getting over. There's no way nobody is going to go into the ring and cut off that ascension, power bombing just to get over another guy when he could do it to somebody else, or he could even do it to three well, guys. And like I said, I don't I don't remember exactly. Had a lot of Okay, well, I'm the, just telling you that the argument of that angle was. I don't, I don't remember what spot this was when we get. I don't yeah. even know if he had all three belts. Like I said, I just don't remember this. I do, I just do remember. Right. I do remember he was hot. Of, yeah, but but Nash is a, Nash is a main eventer. Is what I know I'm he saying. is. Like, you know, oh, you know, this is not. Like, I'm not right. saying Nash shouldn't be pushed because he was the man at that time. Look right. how cool he looked when him and Scott were walking out of just the, bro. The coolness factor is ridiculous. Right, like they were just so cool about everything. They weren't running. They would just say, Joe, and Joe, try, try and look, Joe, try and go back and find that, like, in maybe man. reports and stuff, and see where we were storyline wise, and like, what was, you know, what was going on, like, the week before, the week after that, and stuff, or anything, just the basic right. stuff. Because I, I don't know, wrong. Like I said, so I, well, just, I, yeah, I, just I don't, don't, I don't yeah. remember it. So. I just, the only thing I remember is he was hot, he was getting over, and then after that power bomb, he was done. I don't think he was done, but maybe that was not, what's well, the best spot for him. So. Not done, but yeah, did yeah. not hurt, um, did not help. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!